Today we're at the Sasta Annual Conference and we're going to be looking at the 16 biggest sponsors who has the best booth, the best swag and the best sales pitch to determine the number one sponsor of Sasta Annual 2022. Hey there, sorry to interrupt. I'm just editing the video right now and we've decided the prize for the winning sponsor will be I will get their logo tattooed on my body. Oh yeah. It just got real. Round one. The first round, we're gonna be taking a look at the booth aesthetics. How good does their booth look? So we're gonna do eight head-to-heads of 16 different sponsors to figure out who's gonna move forward to the next round. Let's go take a look at the contenders. Here are our 16 contenders. First up, Worldplay versus Reprise. Worldplay had a really cool space-themed booth. Their team were wearing mostly matching shirts, and they even had a retro-style Space Invaders arcade machine. Meanwhile, Reprise had a super open and inviting booth. Their entire team were wearing purple shirts, so it was super clear who I should talk to. And I found their booth made it really clear exactly what they help with. Because Reprise's booth was slightly more inviting and less cluttered, they're going to move forward to the next round. Next up, Scratchpad and WorkOS. I really like the color scheme of Scratchpad's booth. That dark background with little pops of color, plus all of their swag clearly on display at the back of the booth. Meanwhile, WorkOS had a really, really simple booth. There isn't a whole lot to say about this one. And for that reason, Scratchpad will be moving through to the next round. Next up, Storyblock versus Payhawk. I love the Storyblock booth for the same reasons that I love the Scratchpad booth. That dark color scheme with the bright colors as contrast really draw your eye in. On the flip side, Payhawk had one of the biggest booths at the entire event. It was nice, open, inviting, and the swag was clearly on display conveniently right in the middle of the booth. And they had these really comfy looking couches. This one was another tough one, but Payhawk just clutched the win. Next up, Expensify versus SecureFrame. Expensify had by far the most unique booth at the entire event. It was two stories, very clean looking, very memorable. The sales and marketing teams were on the bottom half of the booth having conversations with customers. Meanwhile, the second floor of the booth, aka the Expensify Lounge, was a really nice quiet place to sit down, grab a coffee, a bite to eat, and get a great view of the rest of the event. SecureFrame had a really nice looking booth. I really liked the fact they stacked all of their t-shirts on display there. That said, SecureFrame got really unlucky with the draw on this one because the competition was fierce and you know Expensify have to move forward to the next round on this one. Next up, Salesloft versus Google Cloud. Salesloft was another big booth at the event and it looked like they shared the space with a few of their tech partners like Sixth Sense and Drift to make the most of their sponsorship. And that neon sign, mm, chef's kiss. And right in the middle of the booth, there was this strange looking contraption more on that later. Meanwhile, Google Cloud's booth is another one that's looking pretty basic. I don't have a whole lot to say about this one. It looks like they were also sharing the booth with a couple of tech partners, but it wasn't super clear to me exactly what they're providing. Salesloft goes through to round two. Next up, Trip Actions versus Outreach. Another booth with that dark contrast really caught my eye. Their team was super friendly and they were giving out drinks all day and this day was probably the hottest of the entire event. On the other side of the spectrum, Outreach had a really light booth and this one still caught my eye. It almost made the team stand out more. Super close, but I think I just prefer outreaches a tiny bit more. Next up, ClickUp versus Calendly. I really like the ClickUp booth. As you can see, they had a coffee machine every single morning and the line for this, oh boy. And their team have the coolest outfits by far. Now the Calendly booth is another one that's really striking. I love the fact that the staff really pop out against their background. While most sponsors were mainly using one side of the booth, Calendly made use of both sides, providing swag and having conversations on two fronts. Another super close matchup, but personally, I preferred the Calendly booth. Next up, G2 versus Brex. The G2 booth was another one that really didn't catch my eye that much. There just wasn't a whole lot going on here. Brex are the headline sponsor of this event and for that reason they have by far the biggest booth and it's situated right next to the entrance to the event. The booth was super inviting with tons of places to sit down. The white, orange and black color scheme really popped and within the booth itself they had coffee, these arcade machines and this beautiful looking swag wall. You guessed it, Brex is the last sponsor to move forward to round two. Round two. Okay, round two. Let's take a look at which sponsor has the best swag. So off I went and collected one piece of swag from each of the final eight sponsors. Reprise, Scratchpad, Payhawk, Expensify, Salesloft, Outreach, Calendly, and Brex. We are back at the hotel. Let's take a quick look at the swag that we were able to acquire today. First up, Reprise versus Scratchpad. Reprise, the juice shop. They had freshly squeezed juice, ice cold, being served all day. And today was a warm day. Pineapple pear chai. Fresh. The team at Scratchpad hooked us up with, with this incredible hat. I've been seeing these everywhere at the event. It's really high quality, big deal energy. Under the lid, we've got this, look at that. Making salespeople happy. That's embroidered in there. This is a high quality hat. This one has to go through to the next round. Scratchpad wins. 
Next, it's Payhawk versus Expensify. Payhawk, they did this custom sales feed graffiti hoodie. They had a guy there with an airbrush all day, customizing hats, snapbacks, and hoodies. This is so freaking cool. Sales feed rocks powered by Payhawk. Expensify, great team. They also had food at the booth, which I love. I'm a big guy, I need to eat. Item that we're reviewing is this t-shirt. It says Expensify across it. I like the typeface a lot. It kind of gives me Abercrombie and Fitch vibes. However, it's a t-shirt with their logo on it. It's not blowing me away. Come on, this is a winner. Payhawk goes on to the next round. Ooh, sales loft versus outreach. Sales loft got us this t-shirt printed in person. I watched it being made. It says sales nerd, sales loft. Now I did make the mistake of choosing a green design on a green t-shirt, but I kind of like it. It's, it's kind of a vibe. I, I, I like this a lot. Very cool t-shirt, outreach. A cookie, but not just any cookie. The best cookie that has ever existed. It's got my face on it. But the real question is, does it taste as good as it looks? Hey, good looking. You're a bit of a snack. It's a winner. Outreach goes through to the next round. And lastly, Calendly versus Brex. Calendly, we got this hat printed. You could choose any eight characters you want. Most people chose their name on there. I, of course, decided to plug sales feed. From the team at Brex, we have a collapsible cup. Let's get this thing out and take a look at it, shall we? Burn the instructions. I, I, it's a cup. Who needs instructions for a cup? Hey, all right, let's put this back on. Oh, oh it's got one more. The cup is unclapsed. Got a little cheeky Brex logo on there. I like this. I'm gonna use this. It's it's travel friendly. Pretty cool cup. I love me some personalized swag. This one is a winner. And with that, there were four. Final round. Okay, we're through to the final four sponsors. For this round, we're gonna be evaluating their sales pitches. First off, no pressure. Nicole from Scratchpad. Scratchpad. Yes. What do you do? What problems do you solve for your customers? Okay. Imagine for a second a world where. Your sales reps love to update their next message. Imagine a world where RevOps has visibility and control over every update sales reps. Imagine sales leaders who can trust the accuracy of their forecasts. Yeah. Imagine all of that right. happening in one place. I don't believe it. Well, you should. If you can equip your team with some big deal energy and get them scratch pad, you will have the happiest, most efficient revenue team Ever. Promise. Secondly, we have Guy from Payhawk. What is Payhawk? How do you help your customers? Zero. So Payhawk is an all-in-one spend management solution. Uh, we help businesses all sizes to automate uh, many different finance processes, okay. such as uh, providing corporate cards, expense management, subscription management, right. invoice management, all under one platform okay. to help finance teams increase efficiency, transparency, uh, and get more compliance, basically. Yeah. Um, so we're present in 32 countries worldwide. Oh, we have offices, eight different offices around the globe. We've just opened the US office, which we're extremely excited about. Yeah, so I don't, I don't suppose you know anyone that's that experiences some of those challenges. Or yeah, always be closing, I love it. ABC, baby. Third, it's Amanda from Outreach. What does Outreach do? How do you have your customers? All right, let's get into it. So Outreach is a sales execution platform, and we're built to solve three main problems. So the first would be inefficient prospecting, weak deal management, and inaccurate sales forecasting. So we have the products Engage Guide Commit, all built for the seller and for go-to-market roles, whether you're an SDR, an AE, a CS, and we're all built to help cross the funnel there. And we're helping with the ability to reach out, engage with your prospects, your customers, the ability to guide you throughout your entire opportunity and life cycle, and then help leadership and operations to be able to forecast appropriately and to make a profit. Love it. And last, but hopefully not least, Jeff from Calendly. Calendly, what do you do? How do you have the customers? Yeah. So, Calendly is a scheduling platform unlike the other guys. Yes. And once you've used it, it really revolutionizes how you think of meeting with customers, stakeholders, anyone that you want to get connected with. It really removes all the friction in the process of getting together with 
Okay, so that's like the baseline. Right. We do it by showing showing your availability. So looking at your calendar, saying where are the spaces in between the meetings that you're available, yeah. then surfacing that information to the customer, the stakeholder, so that they can say, oh, on my calendar, I see that I'm available, and you're available at the same time. And there's no back and forth. We remove that, and then we keep the momentum of the process of scheduling. It's just all about reducing that friction. Calendly makes connecting you and me easy. Oh, okay, I don't think I can decide who the winner's gonna be because I want the one whose logo would look the best as a tattoo. So instead, I'm gonna let you decide. Drop a comment below. Who do you think did the best out of Scratchpad, Payhawk, Outreach, and Calendly? We will check back in a week and tally up all of the comments and then announce which company is the winner and as a result, which logo your boy Will is gonna be getting as a tattoo. My wife doesn't even know about this yet. See you next week.